Well, if Santa doesn't deliver what you asked for for Christmas, don't worry because another Santa, Santa Anita, has the ultimate present for racing fans the day after Christmas when Nashville takes on Charlatan in the Grade 1 Malibu Stakes. To help me unwrap the race is none other than legendary Hall of Fame trainer Bob Baffert. Bob, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thanks for having me. Are you as excited as, the, as everybody else uh, for the return of Charlton to the track this weekend? Well, I think I'm excited about uh, San Anita opening day. It's, 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 a, it's a usually a, a huge event. Unfortunately, this year, no fans. Otherwise, with all the great racing, there, there'd probably be 30, 40,000 people there on opening day. And so, um, you know, that part will be sort of sad, but uh, the racing is going to be exciting. Good, good horse racing, and uh, you know the comeback of Charlatan in Nashville. It's going to be quite a quite a race. Absolutely. I mean, when we look at Charlatan, including Arkansas, he's crossed the line first by a combined twenty-two lengths. Um, we're taking a look at him in action now. Uh, aside from being very fast, Bob, what makes Charlatan such a good horse, and does he remind you perhaps of, of someone that you've trained before? No, he's always shown us, you know, he, he, he's, has brilliant speed and, um, he carried, he carried it to a mile and eighth. And so, um, you know, the first time I ran him, I knew he was a, a nice horse, but he really showed me more his first out than I'd seen in the morning. He's one of these horses that will really, you know, show you much more in the afternoon. So, um, but he's, you know, he hasn't been running a while and we're going seven to eights on a, on a very, uh, it's it's a it's a heavy track, you know. San Anita, it's a different kind of track than we we're, you know, in the past. It, it's going to be very demanding for him. But uh, I'd feel a lot better if Nashville would have stayed home, you know. But <laughs> we're we're you know, I think we're up for it. I mean, I'm sure he needs the race, but um, I think I've done as much as I can to get him ready for this without uh, overdoing it. How have his workouts been? How pleased have you been in the lead up? Well, I, I think I've gotten him ready. Um, he's had, a, you know, he should be pretty fit. And so, uh, and I think the pace is going to be the whole key to it. You know, you can have them ready, really ready. And if they go too fast, too early, you know, it's going to, it'll show up going seven eights on, on this type of uh, surface. Um, I'm, I'm glad that we drew the outside, outside of Nashville, you know, so at least, uh, at least it gives Mike Smith, you know, some options from when you're outside the speed horse, where they're inside, you know, where, you know, I was just glad I didn't draw the, the, the dreaded rail with them and really, really it'd be really taxing on them. Nashville's obviously got speed to burn. And as you point out, you're on the outside. I mean, how do you expect the, the race to pan out? Uh, actually, uh, I saw Nashville today for the first time up close on the track today and he looked he looks fantastic. <laughs> he looks really good, but you know, Charlton looks great too. So um, I think it's going to be, you know, I, I think the break is going to be so, so important. Uh, and they're right next to each other. And so, um, you know, uh, that first quarter of a mile, you know, that first, you know, eight, 200 yards is going to be the, the big factor. It's going to be sort of like what we saw in the Philly and Mayor sprint at the Breeders Cup, you know, uh, Gamine, you know, they went really fast. So um, it's it's going to be a good race. And there's some other horses in there that are that are tough that can come and pick up the pieces if things, you know, if they go too fast early. But I, I think it's going to be a pretty hot pace. I guess we shouldn't think forget about thousand words either. Is he a threat? I you know I threw him in there. He's doing really well. Uh, it's straight three year olds. It's it's still it's it's a grade one. And if things were to, you know, fall apart, you know, you, you know, he's, he could be there. Uh, there's a couple other horses there. Collusion, illusion. He's a really runs really well here in California. He'll, he'll be a threat. He'll be running late. Um, and, um, you know, you just don't know, you know? Yeah. A hypothetical for you had Charlatan made it to the Kentucky Derby with even luck, where would he have finished? Uh, you know what? That's, it's really tough to really, you know, because authentic uh, was just getting better and better, and it would have been, you know, he would have been, he would have been tough. He would have been right there, you know. It would have been, uh, uh, would have been a, a great uh, pace battle. I know that.
Yeah, absolutely would have been. Well, um, Saturday, this race, the, the Malibu promises to be an absolutely spectacular race. Uh, but it's just a headline on, on what's a, a star-studded day at the Grace Race Place. I'm, uh, great race place. I'm interested to, to get your thoughts on a few of your other runners, Bob. Um, I guess in the La Brea Stakes, where you've got four runners as well, is uh, Maneath, uh, it's getting the most attention in the market. Is that the one to beat? Yeah, I have four in there. Um, I, I, I wish she could have drawn outside somewhere. I don't like her in the inside, but she's fast. Uh, she's, she's, she's run well here at Santa Anita. Uh, there's a lot of speed in the race. So a lot of it's mine, you know? So, um, you know, it's another one. It's a grade one. It's, uh, I think it's a pretty wide open race. Uh, Asperson brought that Philly and she'll be tough. Um, and so it's, it's gonna, I, but I really think it's pretty wide open that race. I mean, it's like, there's a lot of, there's any Philly could win that race. So it's, it's pretty wide open. Bob, another race that we're, and another horse that we're really looking forward to seeing return is um, Mucho Gusto in the uh, Grade 2 San Antonio stakes over 1 and 1 16th miles. Um, we haven't seen him since his brave effort behind maximum security in the, the Saudi Cup uh, back in February. Any concerns over the large gap between races? Well, yeah, I think I, I really, um, he, I've got him, um, he's, he's definitely going to need the race. This is a prep for... Um, for the Saudi cup uh, next this, this year, Saudi cup coming up. And so I was either going to either run him in the Pegasus or this race, but I think the Pegasus would be a little bit tougher on him to come right back. Uh, but you know, I could change my mind, you know, I, I don't see how he runs, but uh, he looks, he looks great. You know, he needed some time off um, after the Saudi cup, you know, the Saudi cup, it was hard on those horses. You know, it's a different kind of shift. And, um, but uh, he looks he looks great, but it's it's a tough race, you know. He's he's going to have to you know you know he, he's going to have to show up, and you know so far the way he's been training. But I, I haven't been too hard on him, so I, I think this race will set him up for the next one. Great. And is there anyone else that we should be keeping an eye out for from the Baffert Barn uh, on Saturday? Um, those are I mean the main things is you know I've, I've got a couple maidens in that. Are um, are nice little horses. So, but uh, I, I think the, the, the I think the uh, Charlton Nashville that's going to be uh, that's going to be quite a race. It's going to be an absolute cracker. We're all very much looking forward to it. Um, Bob, but before we let you go, it'd be great to to touch on a, a couple of your uh, road to the Kentucky Derby runners. We're actually only what a bit over four months to go until the Derby. Believe it or not, seems like it was only just last month that you were winning with Authentic. Um, not many people can say that they've directed Spielberg to victory, but you can. Uh, tell us a little bit about that horse. Well, he's got a great name and <laughs> he's got a great pedigree and he's a beautiful horse. And it was, it was, it was nice to see him win that race the other day. He still has some improving to do. He's going to have to step it up even more. And, but you know, he's moving forward. He had one bad race where, he, he didn't ship well when I ran him back at Del Mar and I was coming back in two weeks, but I really think it, the shipping probably affected him more than anything. And so, um, and I think he wants to go two turns anyway. I think two turns is better for him, but I was really happy with his performance. Uh, but, uh, you know, he's got a few months still to grow up and, and get better. And so, uh, you know, you don't want him running too fast, uh, this early anyway, but, uh, I, I, I'm just really happy that, uh, he did, you know, he, he, he showed a will to win, which is so important. You know, not only you need a good horse, but he had every chance to get beat, but he, he, he got, he got to that horse. You've won a, a, a few Los Alamitos futurities, 13 to be precise. And um, it was real quiet. Your first one that then went on to win the, the Derby. Uh, any resemblance there with um, Spielberg? Well, I think, you know, real quiet. He was, he was a really a, you know, he had done a lot more, you know, before he won the Hollywood Futurity. And, um, but, you know, they're all, I've, I've been really fortunate to win it. I mean, Los Alamitos brings back a lot of memories because that's where I started as a quarter horse trainer. And so, uh, and matter of fact, it's a great track. That's where I get all my horses started. Uh, uh, you've seen California Chrome came from there, Pharaoh, Justify, Authentic was there. Um, all these horses, they've all 
come out of Los Alamitos. That's where they, 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 they prepped and got ready. So, um, you know, so, and it's the longest stretch, I think in America, I mean, I think that stretch is ridiculous. So it's, and Churchill's got that long stretch. So I, I think it's very important. Now, after the year that we've had in 2020, it would probably be quite symbolic of a horse called Life is Good was able to win the uh, Kentucky Derby in May, uh, on the first Saturday in May. Um, that was an incredible debut, winning by nine and a half lengths. It looked like Mike Smith was just a passenger there, Bob. Um, you feeling confident about that horse? It closed at five to one in the uh, first Kentucky Derby future pool by Churchill Downs and uh, is... Uh, yeah, kind of there with essential quality in other markets at the top of the leaderboard in terms of betting. Yeah, I mean he's he's a very exciting horse. I mean we he we knew he was a really top horse from the uh, when they sent him to me, um, and so he was working you know brilliantly in the mornings, and so um, you know, but we we have to stretch him out, and you know he, I I don't see why he can't, but until they do it, I like to see him do it first, and then uh, you'll you'll learn more about him, but. Uh, He's extremely fast and we're slowly, you know, still, he's still a young, a young horse that's got a, you know, we're trying to harness his speed a little bit, get him to relax. But once you go along with him, you know, you have a chance to harness it. When you're going short, you can't harness it too much, but uh, he's come out of it really well. So um, I think his next race, we'll, we'll know more about it. Right. And aside from Life is Good and, and Spielberg, uh, are there any others that we should be keeping an eye out over the next uh, few weeks or months uh, from the Baffert Barn in terms of the, the Derby? Yeah, I think we, we've we got, I have some more that I, I haven't uh, started yet. Probably see them probably about the middle or of January or near the end. So we'll be seeing some. So um, I think I got a few more uh, that look, pretty promising so uh but we're you know we're getting to that stage where you know um by february you know we should have a run in them but uh it, it gets pretty tight after that it sure does well bob it's been a, a crazy year as i've alluded to before um a year that probably a lot of people wouldn't mind just erasing uh from the calendar um but what would you not change i guess about 2020 I can um, think of it. all my wins. <laughs> um, the um, the uh, you know I it, we went through a lot, but you know I just feel fortunate that we uh, you know it, for it looked like we weren't going to run. We when we got shut down here in California, it looked like we were just going to be shut down for for all year. You know, so I think we just. I'm just lucky that we, you know, we started out strong and we ended up strong. You know, we won the Pegasus and then finished up winning the Derby. And, you know, just to get to the Derby, we're lucky they ran that. I mean, I didn't think they were going to run that. And um, and then to win that and uh, the Breeders' Cup races were, you know, to run one, two. And that was pretty thrilling and, and gamine. And, and so, um, you know, it's I've had a great. I've had a really good year, you know, and so, um, you know, we won a lot of big races, you know, so I, I other than that, the bad publicity that I got during on the way, you know, and uh, I'd like to change that, but, uh, but uh, other than that, you know, it was, it was a really tremendous year for me. Yeah, it certainly was. And what does um, Bob Baffert do on Christmas day? What are you looking forward to doing? Uh, we just, I have my, all my kids over, uh, my wife, cooks a great dinner for us uh christmas eve and then we uh christmas day we hang out with my kids and then uh back to work back to work on uh, the 26th which is a day we're all very much looking forward to with the return of charlton um bob merry christmas to you and thank you so much for for taking the time out to speak to us here at twin spires and i wish you all the very best uh for Saturday and the, and the meeting at Santa Anita and of course uh, for another big year in 2021. Well, thank you. And um, yeah, let's, um, you know, let's, I'm looking forward to it and I just, another great year and just let's everybody have a happy and safe life. That's it. Thanks, Bob. We'll Stay see healthy. You. Stay healthy. That's the main thing. Indeed. Indeed. And we look forward to seeing you back here in uh, Louisville in just a few months time. I hope so.